So you're thinking of moving to Guelph, Ontario? Well, follow along in this vlog tour as we take you all throughout Guelph, Ontario. We're going to showcase different neighborhoods so that you can see different types of homes, different price points, and how they're going to fit into your budget. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to share with you one of the best kept secrets that you definitely don't want to miss. So let's get at it. I'm so excited. So if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Guelph, Ontario, then be sure to sign up with notifications, tap that bell so you can be the first to know about the current market in Guelph, Ontario. Hi, I'm Anita Van Ritzler with Guelph Area Living at Remax Hallmark in Guelph, Ontario. We get calls and emails from people just like you looking to make a move to Guelph, Ontario, and we absolutely love it. This was a great idea. So if you're looking to make a move in the next 10 days or three months, then send us an email or drop us a text or give us a call because we would love to help you make a smooth move to Guelph, the royal city of Guelph. Thank you. So as I mentioned, we are in Guelph, Ontario. A couple of things I'd love to share with you about Guelph, Ontario is that Guelph is about an hour west of the GTA. We currently have a population of about 140,000 people. And if you look at the map of Guelph geographically, you'll see that we are more north and south than east or west. We have a river running halfway through from east to west. And of course, the University of Guelph and the downtown core tends to be at the very middle of our city. Guelph was uh, established in the 1800s. And did you know that the very first Royal Winter Fair was actually held in the late 1800s here in Guelph in Exhibition Park. And just over my shoulder, we have uh, the Guelph Farmer's Market. It is the oldest farmer's market in Canada. Guelph is iconic. Guelph is historic. And as we go through the various neighborhoods of Guelph, we're going to show you some of those amazing historical gems that make Guelph oh so Guelph. Somebody said to me, it's in Guelph. Isn't that a place where everybody knows your name? I know. Well, I'm not sure, but I can say cheers to that. Cheers. All right, here we go. So here we are at our first neighborhood. This is Old City Guelph. Old City Guelph uh, comprises many styles of homes. When you're thinking about a Guelph purchase, any of the historic areas, be sure to keep the word eclectic on your list. Because as you can see from all of the backdrop behind me, not one house is the same as another, which gives it a lot of charm, a great sense of history here. So this particular area of Old City is an area that we would um, define as the area that if you wanted to be downtown, this is the starter neighborhood. Behind me, around me, all different types of homes. We have many different types of investment properties here. There are student rentals. As a matter of fact, there was a student rental here that sold about two months ago. It had five bedrooms in it and three bathrooms, and it sold in the mid 500s. So you can get downtown with not a very large budget. You also have all the amenities that anybody who wants that downtown li lifestyle would really appreciate. The University of Guelph is about six bus stops away, but anyone who looks to purchase a student property in this area, the kids are probably just walking down to the university. Certainly the, uh, the stores, the grocery, the services, the pubs, the restaurants, that downtown lifestyle is just right behind me. So if you're looking for more information on this, uh, section of Guelph, beautiful old city Guelph. Be sure to keep eclectic in mind and affordable. There's also a great sense of community down here. Look at the different styles again of homes. Very typical of this neighborhood, which is 
Old City Guelph is many streets wide and many streets long. These different homes represent the fact that all different types of people from different places in the world will enjoy living downtown here. Old City Guelph. All right, so this is the second neighborhood in Old City, Guelph. And here's what I love about Old City. If no two houses are the same, then there are no two streets that are the same. And this little sweet street is located more in the west end of Old City, but it is highly desirable. So here we are in the second area of Old City, Guelph that I want to share with you. The reason I love this kind of move up section, this forever home section of Old City, is that not only is it in the west part of Old City Guelph, it's really close to the junction section of Guelph, which is also very popular. But here, here we find streets that just show us all different examples of history. If you take a look around with me, just on this very short street, you can also see beautiful limestone homes. You can see the classic red bricks that are oh so desirable. And right now we're coming up on a bungalow that just sold recently. And when you see the charm of it, you're going to understand probably why it did. That's amazing. So the other thing about Old City Guelph is that the days on market here tend to run more quickly than days on market in the whole city. If it takes 25 days for the average house in Guelph to sell, this area is always a little bit more quick in its sale dates. So you see that bungalow? Yep, yeah, it's classic. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom. The beautiful thing about this one is that it's got a 70 foot wide um, width, which means somebody might be thinking about an additional dwelling unit on this property. It was priced well, it sold in multiple offers for well over its listing price, and it sold around the mid 800s. So Old City Guelph, beautifully located in our city, is just as desirable as downtown Guelph, as Exhibition Park Guelph, and St. George's Park. So let's get to the next area. So here we are, we've arrived at the third and last neighborhood of Old City that I wanna share with you today. And over my head, you should be able to see the church spires of Basilica of Our Lady, which lets you know that you are super close to the most iconic building in all of the city of Guelph. And when you are super close to the city core, that means uh, prices, real estate prices are a little bit higher. So this area, Red brick homes like this that I'm showcasing here today typically run at about just over a million dollars. They will have about four or five bedrooms, two or three bathrooms, almost always a basement that either is already a basement apartment or can be changed into one. No question on that. That walking trail will take you right downtown. We have terrific schools in this neighborhood. And don't be fooled, Eclectic is also a part of this neighborhood. So just past those red bricks, you're also going to see a home that is also very historical to Guelph. It used to be part of the property of Church of Our Lady, the Basilica of Our Lady. So Eclectic continues here in this part of Old City. We've got the red bricks. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous condominium building that has been refurbed in the past. And if you look now over my shoulder, over me, way at the back, you're going to see some of the new high rises that have been developed in Old City Guelph. 
And then just up the road where many people take a walk to go downtown, hopefully you can see in the distance the 18 story high rise building they're starting to be developed in downtown guelph and they're going to shape old city into kind of a new and modern feel old city super eclectic very popular and it gives you that organic proper guelph living there are lots of styles of homes prices of homes in old city guelph so if you're looking to make a move to Guelph, Ontario, follow along on this blog tour because we're also going to show you homes in Westminster Woods, Pine Ridge, homes in The Junction, homes in Exhibition Park, homes in St. George's Park. And if you're looking to live in Guelph, Ontario, then follow along on our tours because we want to showcase this royal city to you. Mm -hmm.